welcome to medical inspiration videos. Let's, we are going to continue right now the topic of anemia and we are going to recap fastly what we said before. We said that anemia can be classified into microcytic anemia, microcytic anemia and normocytic anemia. Right now we are going to discuss the microcytic anemia but first we need to know that the RBCs is formed from a progenitor cell called the erythroplast. Erythroplast is the stem cell for the RBCs. It usually undergoes multiple divisions to reach its normal size RBCs, which is from 80 to 100 micrometer cube. So let's type it here. Erythrocytes makes multiple divisions till it reaches the normal size. Okay. So what happened in microcytic anemia. What usually happens here in microcytic anemia is that there is a decreased production in the hemoglobin and as a result, so the main cause of the microcytic anemia is decrease in production of the hemoglobin. And as a result, the erythroplast is going to make more divisions to keep the concentration of the hemoglobin constant. So let's illustrate this here, just okay. So we have here the erythroplast. Okay, the erythroplast will be divided into more smaller cells, and this smaller cell is going to subdivide into more smaller cells, and this is the normal size, which is from 80 to 100 micrometer cube. Let's say here in the microcytic anemia what happens. Here the erythroplast is going to be divided into smaller cell and the smaller cell is going to be divided into much smaller cell. But the erythroplast will recognize that there is a decrease in production of hemoglobin so to keep the concentration of the hemoglobin constant in the cell so it will be subdivided into much more smaller cells here with much smaller smaller cells which will be less than 80 micrometer cube and this is the microcytic anemia which have a microvascular volume less than 80 micrometer so let's come back here we say that the main cause of microcytic anemia is decreasing hemoglobin what is hemoglobin hemoglobin is heme and globin. And as we know that heme is composed of iron, which is Fe, and protoporphyrins. So to produce a microcytic anemia, we can face a deficiency in the iron, deficiency in the protoporphyrins, or deficiency in the globin. I mean decreased production of iron, decreased production of protoporphyrin, decreased production of globin. This will cause overall decrease in hemoglobin. So let's start with iron. Iron can be decreased in production by a disease called the iron deficiency anemia. So there is a deficiency in the iron production. Number two, we can face a disease called anemia of chronic disease. And the anemia of chronic disease is actually chronic inflammation causing the iron to be stored in the macrophage. So let's recap again. We have two types of microcytic anemia related to the iron. The first one is iron deficiency anemia. The second one is called anemia of chronic disease. The anemia of chronic disease is chronic inflammation causing iron to be stored in the macrophage. And this is called anemia of chronic disease. That's perfect. Let's say if we face a decrease in the production of protoporphyrins, this will cause a sideroplastic anemia. And for sure, if there's a decreased production in the globin, this will produce, yes, correct, thalassemia. And this will end our discussion in the